No one from the left to the Islamists could say we are uh, leading the movement. These were and still are mass protests, no specific leadership, with people coming from across the board, men and women, and for example, like in Egypt, Christian and Muslims all together saying that we don't want dictatorship, we want freedom, we want democracy, and we want dignity and no corruption, more transparency. The pictures of the priest and the imam standing together, united, the pictures of the masses taking place in Tahrir Square where the Muslims were surrounding them and protecting them and the pictures of the Friday prayers and all of the other prayers as well where the Christians were surrounding them and protecting them. I'm talking about the fact that for several weeks the police presence in Egypt was on some days non-existent and on other days minimal. So it's very important for Muslims to begin to build bridges with the forces in Latin America, in Africa, and in Asia who might not be Muslims but are struggling on the behalf of the poor, the disenfranchised, the increasingly large numbers, including in this country, of those who are structurally marginalized economically. Materialism, that means the human life, because I have necessities, needs. I need to eat, I need to drink, I need to have a dress or house. That is the material needs. But that are the ethical obligations in the Old Testament for the Jewish, for the Christians, and I must study it, not the Quran.